As I was saying, I'm going to be doing a local recording here. Hello, folks in YouTube land. This is Trouble Cat recording from the Zombie Arcade, as per usual, and you're watching the Battlefield 3 beta. This is just going to be a video to give my first impressions of the game. I'm doing this as a live commentary, and by that I mean not only am I recording the commentary while I'm playing, but I'm also live streaming, hmm, doing the local recording and the live stream at the same time. It killed my frame rate a little bit here, but whatever, I'll deal with it. So, Battlefield 3, um, I'm not going to lie, it's, uh, it's pretty cool. I, uh, I don't really have anything... <laughs> I, I didn't really think too much about what I was going to say in this video before I started recording, so this is going to be a bit catch and go, as live commentaries can be. Um, very first impressions of the game, though, it's... It's, it's, it's almost... It's hard to think of where to start, because... Um, there's a lot to like about the game. There's, there's obviously some problems, it being a beta, there's some bugs, there are some things that need to get worked out that may or may not be worked out before release. But over overall, honestly, um, I'm pretty happy with, with the level of polish. I'm just going to change up my kit here. Takes quite a few clicks if you want to change attachments. I don't actually have anything else for the M4, so that was kind of silly. You unlock, um, if you didn't know this, you unlock attachments to the weapons individually. Now, um... I suppose my very first impression when I first went into the game is it feels really good to play. The movement and stuff like that, it feels it feels really fluid. The mouse the mouse support is, you know, good. Um, <laughs> as as you would hope. Hit detection seems seems nice, but I guess the main thing is, yeah, just the way you get around the levels, the way the character movement feels and therefore, you know, a big part of how interacting with the game in general tends to feel is just really getting my ass handed to me here. I was in the last uh, match as well. This is just my second uh, game of the day. Haven't quite gotten warmed up yet. Hopefully do a little bit better in a moment. I was doing decent last night, but not so much right now. Anyway, as I was saying, um, yeah, the way the movement in the game feels, moving around the maps and stuff, it feels really fluid, it feels really smooth, and it just makes the entire game feel really good to play. And it's it's pretty it makes it pretty immersive too. Uh, I played this with the stream off for a few hours last night, uh, winding down before before bed at about six o'clock in the morning. Um, and you know when I, when I wasn't trying to be entertaining for the stream and stuff like that, even in multiplayer, the game is really really immersive, and it's just because of this overall feel that is that is pretty darn great. That was, that was sort of the very first thing I noticed. Also, the weapon handling is is really, really good. I really like the way the weapons feel. Um, there's quite a bit of recoil on the rifles and light machine guns, particularly this, the M4A1 I'm using here, the carbine. Uh, the carbines have a bit less, but it's definitely still there. And you have to be making sure... There's a fire selector in this one, so you can switch between full auto, single shot. I'm forced to assume there are burst weapons as well. Um... You have to be, you know, using that at long ranges to help you control your shots. It's... As I, as I said in my video about the top five reasons I was looking forward to Battlefield 3, um, it's not, you know, a super realistic game. It's not a mill sim. It's not trying to be. But it does have... There's something very authentic about the way the game feels and the way the weapons feel and stuff like that. Um, it's, it's pretty darn good. Graphics, as you can see, are, are pretty damn good. It's kind of weird, um... Uh, some people have been saying that they think the game looks like garbage, in fact, not just that it's not as good as they expect, but they actually think the game looks really bad. I'm not quite sure... what... the fuck is wrong with those people, uh, in short. This recording is a little bit low res, uh, in fact, it's pretty damn low res, 640 by 360. Uh, the reason for that being, I'm currently live streaming and I don't have it, my exploit set up to record at 720p. So, so this recording is a bit lower res. There will be higher res BF3 videos uh, coming up. Anyway, um, 1920 by 1080 maximum settings. Game looks very, very fucking good. It's, uh, I, I, you know, the comparison a lot of people are making is they're saying it doesn't look as good as Crisis 2 with the DX11 pack, therefore it looks terrible. Which doesn't, I haven't played Crisis 2. Well, I have. I played the beta demo thing. I can't remember what the fuck uh, it was called. Anyway, uh, I, I never bought the game. I haven't seen it in the DX11. I would not be surprised if it looks a bit better than this game. 
but it doesn't make sense to say this game does not look like one of the best looking games on the market therefore it looks fucking awful that seems kind of kind of retarded I was trying to pull my medkit there but I'm an engineer I'm not an assault class I do not have a medkit been playing assault quite a lot last night oh hey there buddy I'm gonna avoid dying right now but it'd probably be good um oh fucks my time is really about to be... yeah. Uh, personally, I think the game looks looks very fucking good. I'm not sure why people don't like the graphics. It looks great to me. I, I don't even... I don't even go here is what I'm trying to indicate. Uh, aside from that, as you can hear, uh, the sound is is phenomenal. Basically, the presentation in this game is fucking great. As I said, there are some minor polish issues being a beta. There are some weird uh, glitches and stuff you see sometimes, and the movement occasionally gets a little bit jittery or something. I'm not sure if that's network lag or if that's because it's a beta or or what. Have I even killed a single fucking person yet this map? I don't think so. I'm focusing so much on, on what I'm saying. <laughs> As opposed to actually on the game. You know what, I might use a kit that I use a bit more, a little bit more accustomed to, and see if I can actually, you know, kill some people instead of just getting my ass handed to me repeatedly. As I said, I was doing fine last night. Uh, not so much this morning, or well, this afternoon, thus far. I did not play all through the night, which clearly puts me at an unfair disadvantage. Um, then, yeah, aside from that, I just woke up literally. 15 minutes ago, I, I haven't even finished my coffee yet. Ugh. And plus, I'm trying to focus on my recording. So, you know, I think um, I, I could keep this video going for the rest of the match. Um, and keep this rolling, but I might I might leave it here, because, I mean, this is just, you know, very first impressions. I'll obviously be doing a full review when the game is actually released. Um... I'm sure you guys want to see more, but what I'm going to try and do is, later on tonight, I'll uh, stop streaming for half an hour or so and try and get some good 720 gameplay to upload that to YouTube instead, so you guys can get a nice full match. There we go, actually killing a couple people. Yeah, on that positive note, I'm going to leave this recording here, guys. Of course, I will not be going anywhere, people on the live stream. And uh, there will be more VF3 beta footage coming in the following days, so thanks for watching, guys. Trouble T Cat out.